I have a fun video for you guys. We are going to compare which is larger, square root of 1 plus square root of 2 all the way up to square root of 100 or 2000 over 3. Hmm, interesting, right? Well, as always, please pause the video and try it first. Done? Okay. Here's the deal. I don't think we have a nice way to add them up. There's no such formula to add up the first n square root numbers. So, the best thing that we can do is to approximate it. And I'm going to utilize the graph for square root of x. Let's say here is the square root of graph, right here. So y equals square root of x. And I need to produce square root of 1, square root of 2, and all that, right? Here, let's say this is 1, 2, 3, and so on, so on, so on. And to produce square root of 1, we can just come here, go up, and then draw a, technically this is a square here, but this is square root of 1. Because the height is when you're plugging 1 into the square root function, so it's square root of 1, and the base is 1. So square root of 1 times 1 is square root of 1. Similarly, I'm going to go to when x is equal to 2. Go up, and then draw a rectangle now. And as you can see, this time, this portion here, it will be square root of 2 for its area. And then so on. Right here. This right here will be square root of 3, and so on, so on, so on. Right? And then, of course, if you extend it, although at the end here, we have 100, and then before that, we have 99. And the way that we are going to draw the rectangle is, go to x equals 100, up here, draw a rectangle. There's still a small part that stick out. This is the area, and that's exactly square root of 100. So, as you can see, based on this argument, if today we add up all the rectangles, square root of 1 plus square root of 2, this are its area, right? Well, by the area argument, it has to be greater than the area under the curve, which we can compute it with integration, 0 to 100, and then we just have to integrate square root of x. And that's the idea. Now, let's go ahead and work this out real quick. Square root of x is the same as x to the 1 half power. So let's just go ahead and add 1 and then divide it by the new power, which is 2 over 3. So this will give us 2 over 3, x to the 3 over 2 power. And then we just have to go from 0 to 100. And then plug in the numbers. Here we have 2 over 3 times 100 raised to the 3 over 2 power. And then when we plug in 0, that will give us 0, so it doesn't matter. And here we go. Let's see. 100 if we take the square root for that because of the 1 half power, this means we take the square root of 100 first, and after that, raise to the third power. On the inside, we get 10, and then raise that to the third power, we will end up with 1,000. So we will have 2 over 3 times 1,000, and you bet, yes, exactly. 2 over 3 times 1,000, that's exactly how I got it. 2,000 over 3. So, as you can see, the left-hand side is bigger than 2,000 over 3 by the area argument. And uh, I'm just going to come back here. I will just say, oh, no, actually, I'll write it down here. So, answer. Square root of 1 plus square root of 2 plus da 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 up to square root of 100 is bigger. Why did I say bigger? What? I'm just going to say like this. It's greater than 2000 over 3. And then what's that? That's it. 